in case of, I, I have this little thing next to me. It says, in case of emergency, break glass, and it's a wrestling otaku bit. Okay. Our buddy otaku, who is probably the, he, he's a, a wrestling vlogger on YouTube. He, uh, he reviews wrestling, but he also reviews the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, you know, he does commentary. Uh, he talks about women. He talks about life. Otaku is, in my opinion, a true renaissance man. Uh, recently, wrestling Otaku had something on his chest that he felt like he just had to get out to the rest of us. Kind of like the day when he had the dating thing. Yeah, where he's like, here's if a woman wants to date me, here's what you need. Well... Apparently, and, and this is hard for me to believe, as stunning as he is, as far as wrestling commentary goes, I think he's probably one of the best looking people in that community. Um, so it's hard to imagine that wrestling Otaku had a bad dating experience. No, I can't imagine. He did. Now, there's a price to pay. And, and I, I like this. Wrestling Otaku is putting people on notice that if you don't treat the Otaku right, the Otaku is a public figure. He'll put you on blast. So I'm sure the masses will all hear about you. Be forewarned. If you piss off Otaku, he'll get you back. Okay. This is called a receipt in the business. So there's our handsome fella. There's our handsome boy he's, wrestling Otaku. He's got the same shirt on again. He does. He looks like uh he looks like the Terminator if he like retired for 15 years and just let himself go. Only ate McDonald's yeah. and Taco Bell. So here we go. This is Otaku in his grandma's house uh, talking about a recent dating experience that he had. Now, I'm almost positive this is against the rules of every social media company to just... I guess it's not totally doxing because it's a screen name on a public platform. That's kind of what I thought. But it's pretty close to doxing. Because you can look up that name and then look into right. it. All right. Russ Otaku here. So today with this video... Gonna get down to a little bit of business. Business that I should have done about half a year or so ago. Oh shit. So basic white girl 91. A lot of you pretty much I'm pretty sure none of you know who that is. Let me just break it down. So to that individual, to the Is it just me or is he always cutting a wrestling promo? He's always cutting a wrestling promo and he's always trying to catch his breath. Yeah. So every time. None of us know who this person is, but he's going to educate us. He should have done this six months ago. I love how in Utaku's mind, he was being a gentleman. Oh, God. He was Chivalrous being a, almost. Yeah, he hung on to this for six months. He should have done it a long time ago, but he was a nice guy. I was giving her a chance. Yeah. Person behind that handle. If you're watching this video right now, I'm sure you probably don't know who I am or you don't remember. Well, allow me to refresh your memory. I'm the guy who back in September of last year... You disrespected and fucking blew off for no good fucking reason. Now, Otaku, <laughs> look, I'm not trying to poke holes in your story. First of all, if I tried to, you'd be like the Pillsbury Doughboy. You go, whoo hoo. He'd bounce back. I have two very circular, large, gynomastic reasons why she may have blew him off. Second of all, blowing a guy off on Tinder is not an offense. No. That's not a thing that's not allowed. I think that happens 40% of the time. Right. You're allowed to totally blow people off on Tinder. She probably just was looking for a free meal, and when she found out she was going to Denny's, she wasn't interested. All right. And then she, you know. See, these. let me just give you guys a little br rundown, breakdown of what happened. You see, last year in September, I was on Tinder for a bit, right? I actually had uninstalled that app, and then I reinstalled it. I uninstalled it for a year because it was trash, and I was just done with that shit. And then I reinstalled it, you know, just to see what all happened, you know, a little trial and error type process. You know? As you do. Do you believe any of that? I don't know. I don't believe I it I feel for like a he second. might have gone back and forth I, I believe I believe Otaku <laughs> wasn't getting any bites, so he rage quit Tinder. He probably made a new account, yeah. spiffed it up a little bit. And then he's just like, oh, fuck, I'm going on again. And then he wasn't getting any... I love when people go on Tinder and they get no like connections. No and matches. they go, fucking app sucks. Fucking thing's broken. I don't I don't think it's the app, brother. I, I think, you know, no offense, Otaku, but I think it might... It might be that you've had too many apps. Maybe, yeah, maybe we look on the inside. <laughs> maybe we cut, cut down on those. A little more Tinder, a little less Motsy mm -hmm. sticks. You feel me? You know, just a short-term kind of thing, see what happened, right? So I did the usual Tinder thing, swipe left, swipe, swipe right, all that bullshit. And I came across this account, this profile. 
I forget what name it was, but anyway, uh, saw the pictures and I saw that this account had social media handles in their bio in the description. And it came up and it, it showed up as basic white girl 91. Okay. Uh, somebody went creeping. It's creeping hard. Yeah. But again, if you're going to go for girls with the name basic white girl 91, I don't think you're going to have a good turnout. Kind of truth in advertising. You got to give her that. Yeah. So, and at the time. I was that was him, not me. Okay. Trying to make sure, like with dating sites, you have to be careful because there's a lot of scammers, yeah. bots, and active accounts and shit. Fat AEW fans. Oh, I hear no. you. There's a lot of people oh. out there that could really trip up your Tinder experience. People who won't shut the fuck up about what a douche Vince McMahon is. Guys who talk about John Cena like they know him. You know, just guys, really weird guys. Guys that want girls to come home and call them Masta. Yeah, you know, things like that. And what I did was, usually if somebody, if an account had a, a, a social media in their bio or whatever, be it Instagram, Snapchat, whatever, I would go to it and see and message them, see if they were a, an actual person. Because this is the way I avoid talking to bots and shit, so I don't waste my fucking time. Right. You Otaku's, might not have a lot. Right. Otaku's <laughs> time is valuable. He doesn't need to be messing around with bots. All right. Serious inquiries only. Oh, well, right. This for wrestling a, otaku. This is a lot of man to move around for that yeah. little heart, by the right. way. Right. He, he ain't going to sit here and just entertain this these bots and this bullshit. This is a sharp cookie you're dealing with. And that's what I did with this chick. So I messaged her on Instagram, reached out to her, made her a little innocent message. Hi, I saw you on Tinder, so on and so forth. Here's my dick. Oh. It wasn't even a big deal, and she didn't even answer me. Do you know what's wrong with that? What? Is I bet he saw her on Tinder, but he didn't get matched up with her. Because uh, she's going to know if she got matched with him or not, too. So if he's yeah. messaging her and they're not a match, that's already weird. And I asked how you do whatever. So this bitch responds to me by... <laughs> First of all, Otaku, I don't think... I don't know if Otaku's ever heard this term before, but you can catch more flies with honey than you can with vinegar. I said hi to her. I said, what's up? And you know what this fucking bitch did? <laughs> he went with the risky one. What did that bitch do, Otaku? Please let me know. By saying, oh, don't you know how creepy that is? Oh, oh if I was interested, I would have given you a swipe. Oh, don't be, a, don't be a stalker to bypass the process. It's there for a reason. Whoa. <laughs> So hold on, she didn't even blow him off. No. They just didn't get a match. Right. Like I called. So she, he's doing the mocking voice, like, yeah, don't be so creepy. You're a stalker. You bypass the process. He's saying it in a shitty voice, but what she's telling him is remarkably reasonable. Inaccurate. There is nothing. So he bypasses, tries to DM her. She goes, hey, come on. Let's sw let's do the swiping thing. Swipe right, swipe left. That's what Tinder is for. Don't mm -hmm. bypass the process. How does Otaku respond to that? All right, bitch, bitch, I'm gonna put you on my fucking YouTube. If you see basic white girl 91, she's a piece of shit who doesn't like it when you barge into her DMs uninvited and <laughs> bypass the Tinder process. She fucking sucks worse than John Cena. This is no less creepy than like if you send somebody a friend request on Facebook, they don't accept it, and then you go to Instagram to go find them instead. And follow them there. You know what I really appreciate about Otaku? He has a streak going since we've been covering him. A confidence streak? Of being, not only confidence, but of being firmly entrenched in the wrong side of the position every single time. And just, but and and dug in. He believes it. He believes it, man. Otaku is a shoot, if I may use the lingo. He just... He, he digs in. He's like, here's here's the, the side of what's happening. Here's me DMing a girl against her will and bypassing Tinder. Here's being respectful. I'm going to lock myself in over here. I guess you have to respect that. And when she, not only that, though, when she calls me out for it, I'm going to make a three-minute video calling her a bitch and giving everyone her social media information. <laughs> hey, at least we all know that she's not into this. True. And we know what she's not into, so if we're the opposite. I just don't know. Like, have we figured out why this guy's single yet? I don't know. He has too many rules, maybe. Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah. You dumb fucking bitch. <laughs> Jesus. I. Even if she were, I don't know if other girls are going to look oh, at that fondly. My, yeah, I don't think... Be, Otaku, if this is like your eHarmony profile video, not a good look, buddy. <laughs> You dumb fucking bitch. 
It's yeah, like I said, it's always cutting a promo in the Attitude he's, Era. He's like if Chad were into wrestling. <laughs> he is really. He's if Zumok spent his nights watching pro wrestling, he would be wrestling a talk. There's no humor here, right? If you didn't want fucking people reaching out to you, messaging you, or whatever, why the fuck did you put your social media accounts in the fucking bio, in the fucking description of your damn Twitter profile, you dumbass? <laughs> Maybe that's for the people who did swipe right. I'm guessing he's not interested <laughs> in getting a date now. No. It seems like I that thought that back when he had the girlfriend rules. You oh. know, that was kind of okay deep but you know See, shit like this shit like that is why i can't stand the fucking modern day women women of this <laughs> era and this is why i'm not in the dating scene anymore and <laughs> that's why i thought it was the width of their doorways in their homes i thought I that's know. why you weren't in the yeah they'd have to actually go through scene. and widen yeah. all of them put it in for the handicapped side he actually <laughs> when he goes to a woman's house he sticks his head through a window like mr ed <laughs> oh, <laughs> he just no. comes in that way oh they just put a feed trough on him and I fucking cursed this bitch out. And, you know, she blocked me on my main... Uh, what? How? Oh, now I don't like her. I mean, that j blocking you after I mean, that, I, I mean... I can't imagine blocking a dude for swearing at me. No, I... I didn't swipe right. Look, man, I don't... This, this basic white girl seems like... She seems like a problem if she's blocking completely reasonable suitors like this. I know. And this is why I'm not in the dating scene anymore. And I fucking cursed this bitch out. And, you know, she blocked me on my main uh, Instagram. Then I went to my other one and cursed her out. <laughs> you have two Instagrams? Chad has like four Twitters. What's okay, the difference? Okay, another red flag. When you have sock accounts, you probably got some problems upstairs. So I think we are figuring out sock accounts, cursing at people for no reason. Otaku is the wrestling community's version of Chad Zumok. Misplaced anger. Not funny. Not funny. Doesn't try at all. to be funny. No attempts um, to be humorous. Zero self awareness. No self awareness. <laughs> Ugly as a mud fence. Terrible with women. Yes. He really he's a credit Stalkerish tendencies. He's a credit card theft away from being the Zumok of the wrestling he community. He already stole a house. <laughs> he did. He stole his grandma's house. He might be ahead of Zumok. <laughs> I love it. He He's coming to us because when you make these videos, it's supposed to be one sided to make you look really good. Yeah. And he's going like, after that bitch blocked me on the first account for calling her what a piece of shit she was, I logged on to another Twitter account so I could go harass her there too. Fucking dumb bitch. And this is why I'm out of the dating scene. I can't believe he hasn't said cunt yet. Doesn't yeah. he usually go for the cunt eventually? Sometimes. Sometimes. But yeah, so fuck this bitch. She can drop dead. And <laughs> quite frankly, there you go. That's why I can't stand the dating scene now. Because women don't let you harass them and shit on them because they wanted you to match on Tinder like a normal person? Honestly, that was chapter and verse, a Chad video. He, the things that he's yelling at this woman for are all very reasonable things that somebody would do. Yes. I think oh that's the title goodness. of this one. Wrestling Otaku is the Chad Zumok of the wrestling community. Wrestles with reason. I want that to be his <laughs> new show. Oh, my God. Wrestles with reason. Yeah, Don Lemon's aide says it right. It's just so aggressive. And I can't imagine why there's no woman into that. Dom Don't you want to go be slapped around by that? <laughs> Dominus is saying Steel Toe is flat-chested compared to Otaku. <laughs> he does have some pretty big titties. They're big. Oh, they're I wish we could, like, divvy them up between the two of us. Yeah. Shaft calls him Haystack's <laughs> Balloon. I was thinking uh, Haystack's Buffoon. But we could go with either one. It doesn't matter. The food's a good one. Uh, Happy Plague Doctor says one chick turned him down. It's game over. Yeah, and the thing is, though, is that that one chick didn't match with them and turned him down. And then when he put out his requirements for dating him video, nobody responded. Uh, Eric Nagel says Bubba looks different than I remember. There is a little <laughs> Bubba the Love Sponge in there. For it's sure. Like Bubba and Chad had a love child. There's no love there. Aww. They had a hate fuck Only child. Only hate. Love and hate yeah. are the same thing. You know this. Uh, good evening, Lorenzo Ariola. Good to see him. Guys, hey. go click uh, Lorenzo Ariola's uh, channel there and subscribe to Lorenzo. He does a very funny show. Uh, basic white girl is a terrible stepmother, says Rexstart parody account. Did you go look? Don't go look her up. Jesus. Wait, do you have to have Tinder to look at this or is that her Instagram name I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to care. I don't want to know how this works. I don't either at all. <laughs> but the, now one person wrote, uh, there was a very funny comment in there. Uh, I don't, Bobby Heenan says, I don't see the problem. 
Time is precious when you're fantasy booking WrestleMania and new Pokemon games are on the horizon. That's true. He doesn't have time to fuck around with these basic bitches. Got to get the right one right now. Matt Fields with 199 says, I'm in the shower thinking about you, Aaron. Mm. Marquis says, I don't want to be compared to the likes of wrestling otaku. 